Hello everyone to the Mad Lab Richard the Black Clover Water 63! Yeah! Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my very first ever episode reacting to Black Clover, man. Oh my god. I never ever thought I'd be reacting to Black Clover. Because ever since I dropped the series back in 2017 after episode 10, I told myself I want nothing to do with Black Clover because I can't stand Asta. Holy shit, his scream is just so irritating to watch. I, and of course, all, most of the characters though, I did not really, how to say, drawing to them like i don't really like them just that's why i dropped the series back in episode like 10 so then you can say black clover as of late has been getting a lot of attention especially around the fact that we're right now in a very most epic arc face against the uh, the uh, spade kingdom especially the the dark triad so yeah you can say right now we're at the most epic arc according to people on social media and well you can say after catching up to black clover like i spent the past i don't know three to four weeks doing it so well if i have to be very honest though I would just say episode 1 to episode 70 I did not actually like re re how to say enjoy as much as the elf arc elf reincarnation arc and the dark triad like literally like episode 1 to 70 was just like um the fight looks okay but so forgettable to be honest I mean you can see the connections from episode 1 to one to, uh, to 70 like you know you see those events happening in between that until the, the, the elf reincarnation arc then you say oh now those events make more sense now but yeah, episode 1 to 70 was like, uh, so boring. Skip, 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 skip. I even missed some ep episodes too because it was just like another, like, how, how to say, filler episode, I guess. But well, yeah, you can say I had to say the elf reincarnation art from episode 80 onwards. That is, I say, like, okay, now I'm invested with Black Clover. And I you know I watched it properly. I sat back and that's why it took me a while to catch up because like I was so invested into the elf reincarnation art, especially the fact that, you know, most of the you know, Magic Knights got possessed and see how they fight each other. And most importantly, we get to see, you know, the first Magic King come, uh, comes alive again, Nero. It was actually a human. And the other is Nero is my favorite girl for the series, by the way. And so, yeah, you can say after the Elf Ring kind of show, I said, oh my God, is this going to get better? And then from episode 125 and to 150 or 58, I was like, oh my God. So they're basically training for six months to go to the Spade Kingdom with the Heart Kingdom to face up against the devils. I was like, wow. So you basically the past, uh, the, the previous like 20 or so episode was just nothing but boring training episodes. So yeah, I those episodes are very binge worthy. I was like, I literally just binge it. But, like, I skipped some scenes too, because like there's too much talk scenes. But well, it was enjoyable though, especially the captain fight, of course. But yeah, to be honest, I did not really enjoy the gap between uh, after the reincarnation, uh, of reincarnation, and then the the you know, Spade Kingdom invasion arc, which we're in right now. But yeah, when episode one hundred fifty eight kicks in, the 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 new arc, basically the start of the new year, I'd say okay, now we're gonna get into the more interesting thing because the the Dark Triad. Holy shit, guys, they are strong. They are motherfucking strong. They kind of reminds me of how you know we first perceived the Akatsuki's back in Naruto. Like they're just so OP. But man, I have to say, hopefully Asta and the gang can face up against because, you know, when they go devil form, like 55%, I think it was like the latest episode, that guy went 55%. I was like, holy shit, that is basically what Asta went into like back in like all those episodes ago. And so you can say we're now at the most interesting arc now, especially the fact that you know, we get to see Asta, maybe some signs of Asta backstory. Also, we, we, we also found out about Yuno's backstory. And so, man, things are getting good, man. Especially the fact that the Dark Triad, man. No, then those are the targets is uh, one of those villains that I really want to see how, uh, how they go about to, you know, punish everyone and see how strong they are. And of course, we're also going to tap into Noah's backstory too. But man, dude, Asta being so buff now is just top notch, man. So I just can't wait to check out this arc because I can tell you guys this. I am really looking forward to see how will they end uh, well this season. Because as you guys may know, Black Clover will be ending by the end of the winter 2021 episode 170 if I remember correctly. Because you know, they announced it like a week ago that they will just come to an end because of the fact that maybe some production issues or they're catching up to the manga. So this is a perfect chance for me to just you know, enjoy Black Clover for the, for the final 7 episodes. I think, yeah, seven episodes. So, hope you guys enjoy my reaction for the next month until the end of the season, of course. So, I know it's a bit late though, but I tried to catch up, guys. I really tried to catch up, but some episodes were just kind of invested into watching. Some episodes I just skip. 
So just uh, like a bit of a slow pace in terms of watching for me, of course. But right now, I'm caught up, guys, and let's get started with the reaction, shall we? Yeah, I have a feeling this whole war with the Dark Triad could be a massacre, though, because look at them, man. They look so OP. Well, 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 you can say both three of the kingdoms is right now in trouble. Oh, boy. And wow, look at the boss, man. The boss just walks right to the hideout. Oh, my God. Like, it's nothing. Oh, ho, 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 man. You know, gravitational power it kind of reminds me of Pain's power. Oh, oh, my God. Can't believe I had to see that scene again, man. Yes, I start Slash him in the face. Slash him in the face. Gravity magic. Oh, heavy limb fighting. What? Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. Wow. Wait, what? We're gonna get a backstory of Grey? Oh, my God. Is it really ne necessary to have a backstory right now? Why does this look like some sort of Cinderella story? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, so she has a grim rule now, I guess. Dude, this is straight up Cinderella, man. What the fuck? And they're gonna do something to the Grimnor, I guess? Hey, There we go, her speciality in transforming to other people. Oh my god, really now? What the hell, man? Her, her, like, her luck is just so bad. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Wait, isn't that... Yep, knew it! Oh, hey, hey, nice. Man, this guy, man. Still, to this day, I, do, I can't stand him with his love for Mari. Yeah, so, so you're telling me to this day that she, he, she doesn't know that he's safe. Oh my god. So, what is this? Some sort of hidden love story or something? And, you know, Yami just to recruit anyone. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm, okay, so this is her time to shine. Great time to shine, huh? Wow, okay, not bad. Oh, damn, my boy Asta, man, just got knocked down. And it seems like he's not interested in her. Wait, what? Another arcane stage? Wait, what? Yeah, yummy, thank you. Oh, let's go. The boss is here. I think killing him is the good option, man, Yami. Go all out against him. Oh, boy, yummy, man. He, he's standing up. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, yes, let's go, Yami. Yes, let's go. Dimensional Slash. Yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. let's go, Yami. Show him who's boss. He oh, God, heavy in fighting gladiator. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oi. Oh, damn, dude, this is a close fight, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, demand by you, huh? Wait, so you're telling me Yami is like some sort of gate to the underworld or something? Hmm, yeah, he's not having it, man. Not having it. Let's go. Come on, Yami. Strike him down, for God's sake. Yeah! Woo! Nice one, let's go! Well, yeah. Defeated the spirit... Guardians, oh my god. Oh, that's that's supposed of the pirates. Oh my god. Hey, hey, let's go. Luck is here. Let's go. Dude, he's a he's using 50% of his power, man. Oh my god. So okay, so he's basically like an iron steel and like soft as hope or something. Oh boy, let's go. Come on, luck, you can do this, man. You can do this. Oh boy, let's go, Lux. Show him what you're capable of. Let's go. Let's go, man. Yes. Come on, man. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> Dude, is he trying to build up momentum or something? Oh boy, let's go. The momentum, man. Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Oh! That's it! Let's go!
Okay, wow. Okay, like I said, guys. The invasion of the Spade Kingdom arc is by far one of the most enjoyable arcs, I would say. I think like the same level as the Elf Reincarnation. And although I have to say though, the devils possess bodies of the Decipos and those three hosts. They have one annoying faces. And that why villains in this series is you know, very much, um, how to say, hated, I would say. Well, I don't think you can ever like the, the you know, the Devil Triad but for what they did in the, this past five episodes. Especially the fact that they killed uh, quite a few people, I would say. But yeah, you can say so that, you know, the Decibles are no different though. They're annoying. I, I don't care if they have a very sad backstory. I still hate them anyways. So yeah, I don't think any of the villains in the series, except for the Elf you no know, series, but the, the Elf is understandable, but for the Devils though, no, I don't think so, to be honest. I, they're just created to be hated. So, man, I'm very glad I loved, managed to defeat a, a level zero um, Decibel. That shows that, you know, how much training he's been doing these past six months in the, you know, the Heart Kingdom. But man, if the death if the death world can cause this much damage, then we then we can expect it. This could be in a very I should say casual head casualty heavy war. So man, this is not looking good. But hopefully our our, our main characters can do can stop them of course. But yeah, Yami versus uh, Dante. Oh my god, to tell you like Dante. Like I said, guys, I don't give a shit about his, if you have a very sad backstory or the devil backstory. I would still hate him, to be honest. The way he express his emotions, is the way he smiles, don't like it at all. But well, yeah, Yami, dark magic in the end, prevails against him. Lo love the animation, by the way. This animation from this moment right here, that kind of shows that Black Clover is like really stepping up, man. Black Clover is like really, really stepping up the game in terms of like the, you know, game showing what they can do to some fight scenes and Make him very, very stand out and make us like really invest it into the series. Oh my god. And we also found that Grey apparently has some arcane magic for uh, somebody like that arcane level. So you're telling me that her, her transformation magic is is more than that, can heal too. Um sure, we'll find out more about that soon. But man, so you're telling me the black bull has indeed some uh, quite a few arcane levels so they're basically going to be the main group again to stop the devils and i'm pretty sure noi in the next coming episodes will be the one to face off against veronica veronica the basically the female of the dark triad so i mean the poster can't give it away to be honest but yeah oh my god can't wait for the next coming episodes man and of course can't wait to see how would they end the season whether it end in the cliffhanger way or would they end in the very how to say interesting way but we shall see so with that said, hope you guys enjoyed watching today. Smash the button, enjoy watching, subscribe to the channel, or something else. Guys, then.